Last week, I began my 500 mile journey on the Camino Francis. Yes! This feels so good. A pilgrimage that will take me from the Basque country village of Saint Jean Pai de Port, France, to Santiago de Compostela, Spain. My first day on the trail was hot and humid as I started my ascent into the beautiful yet often unforgiving Pyrenees Mountains. <sighs> Harder than I thought. Now it's time to complete the climb, face my fears of wild horses, and enter Spain by foot. I'm Crystal, and this is Van Halle Adventures. Good morning, everyone. Walking this morning, this beautiful mist. And all of a sudden, I look up as I'm talking to my friend Val here, and uh, who you're just gonna meet in just a second. And there's all these horses. They're just hanging out. I have a little bit of a fear of horses. <laughs> so I'm gonna walk close to you, Val. Okay, okay, I'll be your shield. This is Val. Hello, hello. <laughs> yeah. I'll throw myself in front of you though. I won't, <laughs> I won't let you take the hit. Obviously they've seen, they've seen people before. Yeah. Wow. I was gonna say here, kitty, kitty. Why was I gonna say that? <laughs> wow. <laughs> I back away really fast from that one. Look at Val, you're a great protector. Oh, I feel good. <laughs> yeah, I did a whole lot there. Yeah, <laughs> you I just did. walked on by. <laughs> I just wanted the, I just wanted the support. <sighs> I just needed to know somebody is with me. <sighs> wow, they're big. Strength in numbers. Yeah. Oh, look at there's a baby. Oh. but they all have bells on them, too. That was a pretty amazing experience. <sighs> Thankfully, Val, and this is my new friend, Luca. <laughs> right there, I think if I was by myself. I probably would have had a panic attack. <laughs> so look at all these little guys. I don't, they look like sheep. I don't know what kind. If you do know what kind, let me know below. I'm super curious. This is just such an extraordinary morning. Just this mist and the rainbows and the horses. It's, it's really magical. Another rainbow on our path this morning. Feels like another blessing, but it's quickly disappearing. This is bananas. There is a third rainbow on the path. What? Look at that. This feels like 
The universe is just blessing everyone on the path today. And I love that because I met so many amazing people and I just pictured them all being surrounded with this, this rainbow of light. And, mm, it just feels really good. Almost near the height of the ascent on the way to Roncesvalles, there is a food truck where you can purchase some snacks and take a break to just enjoy the scenery before going up your final push over the Pyrenees. I'm seeing all these bikers bike up this hill. It's amazing. Oh, he's running. So this may or may not be the France and Spain border, but it's a cattle guard. I think this might be it. If it is, I made it. But somebody else said we already crossed it, so I am unclear, but either way I'm in Spain now, you guys. It's pretty cool. It has been a windy day because uh, we reached our height in the Pyrenees and now we're going back down to Roncesvalles or Roncesvalles, uh, depending on if you see Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Fellow pilgrim. Um, From Montana. Oh, Montana. I love Montana. Uh, originally Washington State. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Montana's a dream. Uh, buen camino. getting too heavy. I have too much camera gear here. So I have a new Sherpa, uh, <laughs> Ian from Ireland. And here's Emer back here, his wife. Thank you so Hi. much, Ian. Blessed Camino friends. Look at you. <laughs> by, I, I, I knew it was only like 500 meters, so you know. <laughs> it's a different story if it was like, you know, 10K to 10K. go. 10K, we'll be sending the ambulance back. <laughs> Quarter of a mile. 
and carried my bag. You are the best, thank you. Yeah. <sighs> So excited about this room. Ah, number seven, here we are. Showers have never felt so good, and today's shower was awesome. I have a private room today, so unlike yesterday's shower, well, this shower is quite small and they gave us tokens so it only lasts for five minutes i don't even see where you're supposed to put in your token which was coin operated only five minutes i actually had hot water today i just stood there and it was miraculous felt really good and today was so beautiful i didn't get a whole lot of time to talk to you all because it was so windy which I wasn't expecting but it was a nice reprieve compared to yesterday which was super super hot so it's interesting to see the differences and I'm very curious about how the rest of the Camino go because based on this weather like I definitely got a sunburn because I couldn't wear my hat because I don't have a string that goes below my chin to cover up my face. It's not that bad because it was pretty misty and cloudy out up until I think it was like 1230 I believe. So that's one thing I definitely I'm gonna pick up in Pamplona is a hat. Uh, sunscreen is just not doing the trick. Other than that, my feet hurt, <laughs> which everybody says when they go on the Camino, but no blisters, baby. I think I did the preventative stuff this morning, as you all saw, so I think that was a real uh, good choice. I'm gonna continue doing that. The only thing bugging me is my shoes, but um, just a slight thing. I'm gonna see how they keep going, and if not, I'll tend to that later but my feet are just sore. I'm kind of understanding the routine here now on the Camino and that seems to be, there's definitely like a time for breakfast. I actually wish it was earlier. Seven o'clock is 7 a.m. is typically the time. A little bumped on that because I would like to actually start walking just around 5.30 or at least six, but 7 a.m. breakfast, get done by 7.30, get your bags, get on, you know, breaks while you're walking and then once you're done, everybody goes to their, their place and either grabs a bite to eat first because they're so hungry or you shower, people do it differently, and then go eat afterwards and then maybe hang out, journal, reflect, whatever, and go to bed. And then I also, this is uh, good to know, in wherever you start, at least in St. Jean, Pierre Port, uh, they give this beautiful, I don't know if you can see it, but it shows kind of like the elevation, what you're kind of getting into for the main parts of the route and just like the general stops that people do. So this is really cool to have. I'm gonna look over this every day just so I can kind of get um, an idea. And this is in kilometers and meters, not miles and feet. So I'm gonna to have to go over this for tomorrow and see what I'm getting myself into. But I think to Zubiri is just downhill. And my pack is definitely too heavy. Learned that today, obviously. Thank you, Ian, for carrying my pack. It's probably why, actually, one of the reasons why my feet hurt. My shoulders are tender. So I gotta unload that tonight and just figure out what to do. But that was an amazing, magnificent day. And I hope this also gives you an idea of kind of a day in the life. Uh, obviously, other people might be in dorms, but I'm gonna do a mix of dorms, private rooms, and just kind of get an idea of what it's like to stay in different places in various uh, different 
um, expense brackets as well as we continue on the series. If you have any questions, please leave them below so that as I go on my journey, I can answer them or make a dedicated video for that topic. So yeah, that wraps it up for the night and I will catch you all on the next one as we head out to Zoopy.